Hi, welcome to Bella's Vistas. One of our viewers sent us a message saying that he was very interested in the grill that I was using. He'd been living in his van for quite some time, mostly on canned food and such, and he wanted to know about our grill. Well, as it turned out, our grill, after many years of service, wore out and we had to buy a new one. So I thought I would show you unboxing the grill, setting it up, and cooking with it. It's a Coleman grill. I bought it at Walmart for $118. When you see the Coleman name, you're dealing with a quality product. It comes very well packaged and it has to be assembled. Some assembly required. Some feet have to be put on the bottom of it. The windscreen has to be set up. Things have to be unwrapped. It's pretty basic. It's not hard to do at all. The wind blew around some of the packaging, but we gathered it all up and burned the leftover packaging in the fire. I saved one piece of cardboard that I keep inside the grill to stop it from getting scratched. The grill has a special coating on it and they warn you do not put pots on top of that grill because if you do the coating will become scratched off and be ineffective. Very simple to put together. Not quite so simple to unpack. I needed to use my Swiss Army knife a couple times. Here you see the piece that actually wore out on our barbecue. There's some threads where the propane cylinder screws on. They actually, the threads wore out. I imagine the grill is meant to be set up on a campsite and probably stay there for a week or ten days, something like that, whereas our grill gets used probably twice a day. There's some instructions. You might want to read those, perhaps. Uh, I usually don't bother. Here's the grease catching pan that goes on the bottom. They warn you to clean that every time you use it so you don't wind up with grease running around in your van or possible grease fire just clips on the bottom it's fairly simple there's four plastic feet that have to be hooked onto the bottom of the grill and there's some Phillips screws that need to be screwed into that as well it's a little bit unwieldy I find it hard to do these things when I'm being videotaped as well because it just makes me a little more nervous than you'd think it should Fairly straightforward to put it together. Tightening the screws onto the bottom holds it all together. Keep, that'll keep it from burning a picnic table. Most of the time I use it right on the ground, but if there's a picnic table, wow, it's so much handier. There's a windshield. The windshield's good sometimes, but I tell you, sometimes like in Newfoundland and a few places, it seems like the wind is coming from every direction at once. And... No matter what you do, you're being affected, buffeted by the wind. You have a burner on one side and a grill on the other. I find this is the ideal combination. See, there's the threads and the aluminum piece. We're going to be very careful with that and keep it clean. That threads onto the propane cylinder. You want to be careful with propane. You don't want it leaking in your van. You don't want an explosion or anything like that. Propane is heavier than air, so it actually it goes down, so uh, usually it'll just go out through the bottom of the van. You want to be very careful, though. There it is set up. Now, my original barbecue had an electric sparker, the one that I had before. I was quite surprised to find out this one didn't have one. So you're going to have to have a barbecue lighter with you at all times. Now, when the packaging becomes totally impossible, you're going to want to have a Swiss Army knife in your pocket so you can just pull that out and deal with the bad packaging. Well, bad packaging, excellent packaging. <laughs> it's impossible to get anything out of it without a knife. Pop that barbecue lighter out, and you want to have that with you all the time. Don't want that to get wet either. When they get wet, they're very hard to use. This burner is tremendous. Uh, boiling capacity, it's unbelievable. Our other barbecue was good, but we'd used it for years and years, so I'm thinking it wasn't as hot as it was when we first got it. I was amazed how fast the water boiled on there. Just put the pot on and it seemed like in a minute it was boiled. 
Bella's watching, waiting patiently, thinking something might fall down and she'll get it. Here we're boiling the rice. Takes 20 minutes to boil this rice before we put the burgers on. So I got the water boiling, steaming it a bit there, get it going. I had to turn the burner right down because it was boiling so hard. I think we're really going to like this grill. The other one, we used it for years on the road. Now I'm putting some burgers on the grill, and the non-stick surface really seems to work too. I don't know what it is, but it's great. And it's like I said, it's a Coleman product. It's built to last. It's good gear. There the burgers are on. Belle is still patiently watching. She loves to watch cooking shows. <laughs> Flipping the burgers. We were fortunate enough to meet up with my friend Jeff purely by accident, and uh, we camped out along the creek in uh, Alberta. I was driving along, and I messaged him, and he said, Hey, I'm camping here. Come on and hang out. So we camped there for a day or two. Flipping the burgers over here. Everything's about ready. Time to plate those burgers. There you go. Some protein and some carbs. Carbs for energy and protein for muscles. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe.